Hi, I'm Chris Ferguson of the STS-135 crew, and you're watching NASA TV. All three engines up and burning. Two, one, zero, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis. On the shoulders of the space shuttle, America will continue the dream. From Launch Complex 39 at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, this is Shuttle Launch Control at T-minus three hours and holding. And we're now in the final five hours of the countdown for the launch of the last flight of the Space Shuttle program and Space Shuttle Atlantis on STS-135. Here's our commander, Chris Ferguson. He's in the suit-up room. He's uh, having a fit check of his helmet. Pilot Doug Hurley. This is his second trip into space. And here is mission specialist number one, Sandy Magnus. This is Rex Walheim. He's our mission specialist number two. And here they come. T-minus 40 seconds, handing off to Atlantis' computers at T-minus 31. T-minus 35, 33. Uh, clock will hold at T-minus 31 seconds due to a failure. And we have had a failure. Grand lot sequencer. We have a problem on the GOG 3 track switches. And NTDSC. Go ahead. But sir, we need uh, guys to go do the verification per the LCC, please. All right, CMAC. Yes, CMAC. The LCC says we need to verify using a camera, and we're positioning camera 62 right now. Okay, let us know as soon as 62 is swung over, and you can verify LCC for GVA retract, please. This is CMAC. We verify uh, retracted. All right, and STE. And NTD, STE concurs. They satisfy the requirements of GSE 13 pre contingency. I'm go. Okay, I copy. And launch director. Yes, sir, I heard all that and concur. Press on. And GLS, you can resume the clock on your mark. I copy that. Cat on clock will resume on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. He might have... Go for auto sequence start. Hand off to Atlantis' computers has occurred. Solid rocket booster nozzle steering check and work. 20. Firing chain is armed. Go for main engine start. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. All three engines up and burning. 2, 1, 0, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis. On the shoulders of the space shuttle, America will continue the dream. Roger roll, Atlantis. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. The space shuttle spreads its wings one final time for the start of a sentimental journey into history. 24 seconds into the flight, roll program complete. Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. 40 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines throttling back to 72% of rated performance in the bucket, reducing stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic for the final time. Engines now revving up, standing by for the throttle up call.
Atlantis, go at throttle up, no action, DP, DT. Go at throttle up, no action on DP, DT. The call from Capcom Barry Wilmore, a transducer, instrumentation only, no action required. Atlantis now 15 miles in altitude, already 16 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, one minute, 40 seconds into the flight. Atlantis flexing its muscles one final time. Atlantis traveling almost 2,600 miles an hour, 21 miles in altitude, 24 miles downrange. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. The main engine steering the shuttle on a pinpoint path to its preliminary orbit. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis already traveling 3,200 miles an hour, 35 miles in altitude, 50 miles downrange. Standing by for main engine cutoff. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff. For the last time, the space shuttle's main engines have fallen silent as the shuttle slips into the final chapter of a storied 30-year adventure. Now standing by for external tank separation. Atlantis Houston, good config for the burn. Copy, good config. Flying high over the Atlantic Ocean off the west coast of Africa. We're just seconds away from this uh, course correction burn as we watch uh, over the shoulders of Chris Ferguson and Doug Hurley up on the flight deck of Atlantis. could see uh, very clearly the cannon-like jolt of those big orbital maneuvering system engines.
Atlantis, Houston, you are go for the RPM. Go to proceed inside 600 feet. Houston Station, Atlantis on the big loop, initiating RPM in three, two, one, mark. We copy. Houston copy. With that, uh, Commander Chris Ferguson now will begin the uh, slow three-quarter of a degree per second rotational backflip. This, again, is about a nine-minute maneuver. You'll hear uh, the start photography call initiated uh, when the orbiter is in the correct orientation of this procedure. The actual R-bar pitch maneuver will last about nine minutes in duration, about 93 seconds of available photography for Sergei Volkov, Mike Fossum, and Satoshi Furukawa. Atlantis on the big loop. Start photos. Start photos. And with that, uh, a period of about 93 seconds of uh, good photography now initiated for uh, Sergey Volkov, Mike Fossum, and Satoshi Furukawa using uh, digital cameras and high powered lenses out of the Zvezda service module. The uh, rendezvous officer uh, indicates to Flight Director Quatziela Barujo that uh, Commander Chris Ferguson has flown a textbook R-bar pitch maneuver. And you can see the structure of the International Space Station now coming into view as both spacecraft uh, pass over the limb of the Earth. Atlantis coming up on the uh, so-called V-bar, the velocity vector. Atlantis Houston on the big loop. The teams have been pulled. In concurrence, you are go for docking. Atlantis on the big loop copies, go for docking. Pilot Doug Hurley informing uh, both uh, station and shuttle flight control rooms that no flyout is required, meaning no additional alignment required. Commander Chris Ferguson uh, is dead spot on with the two docking mechanisms uh, perfectly aligned. Contact docking confirmed. Capture confirmed at 10.07 a.m. Central Time. Houston, the station Atlantis, capture confirmed and we see free drift. Station at last, Atlantis Houston, station free drift is confirmed. Atlantis arriving. Welcome to the International Space Station for the last time. That's great to be here, station. We'll see you shortly. It's good to be home on station. How's everybody? Come on, Jim. Come on, Jim. Come on, Jim. Come on, Jim. All right. <laughs> Come on, Jim. Oh, <laughs> Russian hug. Come on, Russian hug. How you doing, guys? Good to see you. Hey, Doug. Doug. Hey, hey, Doug. 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 Hey, Doug.
In the wake of yesterday's docking of Atlantis to the International Space Station, uh, the heavy lifting uh, begins, the highlight of which will be the unberthing and removal of the Raffaello multipurpose logistics module from the cargo bay of Atlantis. Raffaello is 21.6 feet long, 15 feet wide. Fully loaded, uh, weighs about 12 and a half tons. It is equipped and supplied by 9,403 pounds of cargo that will be transferred to the International Space Station over the course of the next several days. And Houston and Atlantis, we're starting the maneuver to unberth the MPLM. We copy, Sandy. We're following. And with kid gloves, Sandy Magnus uh, at the controls of the station's robotic arm, uh, beginning the process of unberthing Raffaello from Atlantis's cargo bay. And Atlantis, the uh, MB MPLM is unberthed. Um, I don't know if you want to mess with the keel camera at all just to see if it's working, but if you manage to get it on, you can deactivate it. Okay, we'll take care of that, thanks. Yeah, on the big loop, uh, Sandy and Satoshi, uh, maneuver to RTL complete your go for first stage capture. Hey, Houston, on the big loop, uh, we're going to pick up in 1.108. Step one, we're ready to open the uh, no 2 nader hatch. We're going to be copying, we're good with that. Hey, Rob, are you guys up on the Columbus camera here pointing down into the, the, the Nader Note 2? Affirmative. Okay, so for all you guys who've worked Exposition 18, I'd like to announce the return of the Sox. <laughs> we got a great view. Thanks. Just a little nostalgia there for a moment. We appreciate it. STS-135, pilot Doug Hurley there, along with Sandy Magnus, moving a uh, fairly large-sized heat exchanger uh, through the station. There's quite a bit of equipment being moved from the MPLM uh, into the station, but also quite a bit being moved from the station back into the MPLM, as well as Atlantis's mid-deck. So the crew is well underway getting all of these materials and supplies transferred from one carrier to another. As you can see, uh a variety of crew members uh, gathering down in the mid-deck of Atlantis uh, to prepare a variety of cuisine that constitutes the all-American meal that you've been hearing about. Uh, this all-American meal, again, uh, was conceived uh, in honor of this final shuttle mission of Atlantis and uh, prepared uh, by the Food Lab folks here at the Johnson Space Center. The uh, crew's all-American menu, uh, beginning with crackers, brie cheese, and sausage, the main course featuring grilled chicken, southwestern corn, and baked beans, and the uh, piece de resistance will be apple pie for dessert. The uh, station crew will also have barbecued brisket as its entree. I'm telling you, I've done a lot of these interviews, well, a few of them from space. The technology now is amazing. The picture, guys. You look like you're in a studio, maybe in Omaha, Nebraska or something. The, the, the shot is so clear. Is this a hoax? Are you really in space still? See the hair? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to have to do something for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I want to do it. I know. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Watch this. <laughs> can everybody float around for us? That was really cool, Chris. Can everybody float around look at her. That is so cool. Chris. Look at her. I think uh, I think Sandy's hair is pretty much a dead giveaway. It is. Well, there you go. There's a pose for you right there. Good morning, guys. Wake up and good luck on this, your last mission. Well done. Good morning, Houston, and uh, thank you for that message. Uh, people all around the world love uh, Paul McCartney's music, and boy, he can rest assured that people all above the earth uh, love his music, too. Houston, on air ground two for transfer. Good evening, Sandy. Go ahead for transfer. Okay, per all these call downs, I show everything complete in the MPLM, and it's actually uh, chock full. The ISPs have foam on them. All the end cones are full of foam. There's random foam in the RSRs that they came up with, so uh, we're, we're full. Hats off to you and your crew. Um, you guys have done an outstanding job. Um, of course, there's a little bit left to do for tomorrow, um, but that's nothing compared to the job you guys have already done. 
Well, it definitely was challenging, but everybody pitched in. And, of course, I mentioned it before, we had a good plan. You guys did a lot of great ground work getting us set. And if, if you guys wouldn't have done such a good job, and the folks at KSC getting stuff packed and, and keeping track of all the small things, it would have been uh, a, a nightmare for us. But it really did go smoothly for all that we were working really hard. And, and we can't even tell you how much we appreciate all the work you guys did on the ground planning this out. Well, I can honestly say we enjoyed it in some weird way. Totally understand. <laughs>
Field inside Houston. Copy Atlantis. Field inside. The pre-flare maneuver executed. Landing gear down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Hurley now deploying the drag chute. Ferguson rotating the nose gear down to the deck. Having fired the imagination of a generation, a ship like no other, its place in history secured, the space shuttle pulls into port for the last time. Its voyage at an end. your will stop and we'll take this opportunity to congratulate you Atlantis as well as the thousands of passionate individuals across this great spacefaring nation who truly empower this incredible spacecraft which for three decades has inspired millions around the globe job well done America hey thanks Butch uh, great words great words you know the space shuttle changed the way we uh, view the world and it's changed uh, the way we view our universe there's a lot of emotion today, but one thing's indisputable. America's not going to stop exploring. Thank you, Columbia, Challenger, Discovery, Endeavor, and our ship Atlantis. Thank you for protecting us and bringing this program to such a fitting end. God bless all of you. God bless the United States of America.